Welcome back to the Discovery Channel. Today we're going to learn about how life gets its food. All energy needed by life comes from the sun. And by using the process of photosynthesis, where light is turned into glucose, plants and other light-dependent uh, organisms use cellular respiration to turn glucose and oxygen into the source or the energy source of ATP. The organisms such as plants who use photosynthesis to make their food are called autotrophs. But what about the organisms who obtain energy from the foods they eat, like humans and animals? They're called heterotrophs. In order to survive, these organisms must obtain food by containing obtain food containing macromolecules. For example, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Once the foods are eaten, they go through the animal and human's digestive systems, starting in the mouth, uh, down the esophagus, into the stomach, and through the rest of the digestive organs, where nutrients are absorbed and toxins are disposed. This is a prokaryote, and this is a eukaryote. A prokaryote does not have a true nucleus, and their organelles aren't bonded together. Uh, eukaryote are, is a much more complex cell with a true nucleus, and they have DNA and genetic information stored in the nucleus. Herb, do you know anything about mitosis? I don't, but this guy does. What's mitosis? Mitosis is asexual reproduction. No, no sex! There are five phases to mitosis. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and interphase. Really? All right, I'm done. Mitosis is where one cell splits into two identical cells. The cell cycle has phases to it. G0, G1, G2, S phase, and cell division. Cell wow. differ- Sorry for joking. <laughs> Come on. Cell differentiation is when cells change from one type to another, such as a stem cell. I'm sorry, well, I don't. Uh, a stem cell is a base cell for all cells, and it can turn it into any specified cell depending on what is needed. Cancer cells are cells that divide uncontrollably and do not follow mitosis. Oh, and skip, no! And skip the steps for a normal cell to divide. This is Jay's Cardoli Show. Here, I control imports and exports of specific cars in my life. This section of the light is the part of the dealership where we transport cars from this area to a different area. Before the car gets transported, the car is checked for temperature regulation and oil levels, much like homeostasis in humans. I'm Allison Gingrich, and this is E News. Tonight we have some facts about uh, sexual reproduction. During sexual reproduction, the process of meiosis occurs. Every new cell formed by meiosis has half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. Something else that's interesting is four cells are formed from each original cell. And meiosis occurs only in the reproductive organs. Our last fact tonight is meiosis is responsible for forming the egg and sperm cells, also known as It's real good. What is sexual reproduction? I think sexual reproduction is when two people love each other and <laughs> make babies. Here we are with our representation of meiosis. Our male cell splits twice in first division and second division, then becomes sperm. The female cell splits once and then another time, and you have the smaller cells which are called polar bodies, and the large cell, which is the egg. What a trip to the Galapagos. Come see the same island Charles Darwin walked on and look at the animals that he studied and see how they have evolved due to natural selection. Compare the strongest animals to see how they survive and see the different adaptations of each animal on a private boat ride to each of the island chains. Just submit an, an essay on ecology. <laughs> 